First, Rangers have issued a withering statement today following the alleged racial abuse of their midfielder Glenn Kamara. It was by a Slavia Prague player on the pitch during their Europa League tie last night. Uh, in the statement, Rangers have sent a warning to European football's governing body, uh, telling UEFA the world is watching and they expect a robust response. Uh, the club also say they refuse to acknowledge any denial from their Czech opponents. Uh, well, let's go live now to Charles Patterson. Charles, a very good afternoon to you. So, uh, a strong statement there from Rangers. Uh, what are the key points in it? Yes, yeah, Stuart Robertson, the managing director, issuing, as you said, a, a withering statement, a very, very robust statement indeed. It follows up from Stephen Gerrard's words last night uh, at the at the post-match press conference, Stuart Robertson saying the racist abuse suffered by Glenn Kamara will not be tolerated by Rangers as a club. We stand resolutely behind him. We stand behind each and every one of our players, regardless of race, religion, colour or creed. If you wear the blue of Rangers Football Club, you are one of our own. Several Rangers players have subsequently received racist, threatening and sickening abuse online, which is abhorrent and once again highlights the responsibility of social media outlets to eradicate abuse from faceless cowards. Uh, he goes on to say in this statement that he confirms that he and the chairman, uh, Douglas Park, Ross Wilson, the sporting director, and Stephen Gerrard met with uh, UEFA the UEFA delegate and Slavia uh, officials after the game last night. Uh, the incident has been reported to the UEFA match delegate. We understand it has formed part of his match report. We expect a robust and unequivocal response in relation to the incident and it cannot be swept under the carpet. We are not prepared for Glenn Kamara to be yet another statistic. So Stuart Robertson outlining Rangers' stance on this, they are unequivocal, uh, unequivocal in their belief that Glenn Kamara was 100% correct in his allegation of being racially abused by Andre Cadella. Now, obviously... The, uh, the Slavia Prague have strongly denied this, but this is a very strong statement from Rangers. They are now waiting for UEFA to take action. The pressure and the ball is very much in UEFA's court. Yeah, and we will, we will wait to see what action is taken, Charles. Uh, how about uh, reaction uh, across the sport? What, what's the reaction been in football this afternoon? Well, before we get to the rest of football, it's worth saying that Police Scotland have issued a statement this morning because obviously there was a report last night following Slavia Prague's statement that the police had been called to Ibrox. Police Scotland have confirmed they were at Ibrox, but there was no, uh, there was no criminality surrounding or alleged criminality uh, or uh, surrounding their presence at Ibrox. They have not confirmed whether or not uh, they were called by either club to Ibrox as a result of the two incidents that have been alleged. First of all, the alleged incident of racist abuse and then the incident in the tunnel. UEFA have released a statement as well this morning confirming that they are investigating an alleged incident that took place in the tunnel after the game. Slavia claiming that uh, Andre Kudela was, uh, in their words, assaulted by Glenn Kamara with his fists. UEFA's match delegate uh, is compiling his report. The match referee will compile his report as well and then we will await to see what comes of that. Stephen Gerrard has also been speaking in the last hour and he has refused to really divulge much further what he said last night uh, other than it, it, the, the situation is now well above him and he expects it to be dealt with accordingly and he will be also analysing whether or not Glenn Kamara is in the right frame of mind to play in Sunday's Old Firm game against Celtic. We've also heard from show races in the red card today and this uh, is the view of Jordan Alice and their uh, operations director here in Scotland. We want to see um, an unequivocal response um, from UEFA. We want to see a, a strong message sent to clubs across Europe that racism is not accepted in, in any form. Um, as an anti-racist charity ourselves, we, we encourage UEFA to demonstrate understanding and compassion, um, albeit Yes, it's an allegation that stays just now. We still want to see that understanding and compassion towards Glenn and any victims of racism within the game. Um, we want them to listen. And we want to encourage the use of lived experience as well um, when reaching out to both parties and before reaching an outcome to this. However, we, we are extremely heartened to see the, the way in which Stephen Gerrard and his team responded uh, from the outset last night. That's the view of show racism, the red card. Uh, it's worth, worth saying this morning that Instagram 
have told Sky Sports News they have removed a number of comments and accounts as part of their ongoing investigation into the racist abuse suffered by Kamar Roof, the Rangers striker. Now, he, of course, was sent off in the game last night after an ugly collision with the Slavia Prague goalkeeper. There were then uh, various emojis posted on his Instagram account. And Stephen Gerrard said in his post-match press conference that that, in his view, was escalated by the events that happened near the end of the game involving Glenn Kamara and Andre Kudela. Kudela and the, Sparta, uh, the Slavia Prague players flew out of Glasgow this morning. They made no comment as they left the city and certainly the, uh, the focus is still very much on them as a club but the focus really now is on what UEFA do next and of course when we know we will bring that to you. OK, Charles, thank you very much indeed for putting us in the picture there. Thank you for the moment.